first important lesson to learn when it comes to advanced selection techniques is that you don't always have to select the object itself. Sometimes it can be much easier to select the inverse of the object and then invert your selection afterwards. Now let me give you an example for this. We've got our sample image here from the last lesson and you may remember that when we were trying to um, select this bush here, I was using the quick selection tool to make a rough selection of the bush and then I was using the refine edge tool. And while this worked very well, um, it was kind of cumbersome. We had to move all kinds of sliders and eventually all those little uh, pieces here where the sky was shining through um, through the leaves of the bush weren't really um, isolated by this uh, selection. So luckily there is a much simpler solution for this problem. And what we're going to do now is we're going to select this bush by using the color range tool in combination with the lasso tool. Um, and we're going to use the color range tool not on the, on the bush itself, but on the background of the bush. Now, if you were to use the color tool on the bush itself, you would have all kinds of different shades of green and a very heterogeneous uh, mingle of um, tones and brightness values. So it's not very easy to select this bush using the color selection or color range tool. But if you look at the background, you see that the clouds behind the bush make for a nice and homogeneous background. So why not try to use the color range tool to select the background. So select the color range tool from the uh, from the menu here and I'm using the black matte um, section, selection uh, preview here and now I'm just starting to click on this background. Let me limit the range a little bit and I'm holding down the shift key as you've seen before and I'm just repeatedly clicking in those areas where the bush meets the sky, just around the, the tips and the leaves of the bush. And you can see that piece by piece, click by click, we get a better selection of the background here. And I'm also um, able to click exactly in those little spots here where the sky is shining through. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Now we've got a selection of the sky in the background and the bush is completely black, so it's nicely isolated. The only thing that we need to do is in the color range um, dialog here, we need to click the invert checkbox. Now you could also create the selection and then invert the selection or a mask and invert the selection. All of this is possible. Now let's click OK and we've got a selection of the bush. The only problem here is if we zoom out and go to the quick mask mode, you can see that um, the selection or rather the parts that are not selected don't cover the whole rest of the image. So we've got this transition towards the rest of the image and our bush here is only isolated from a part of the image. And what we're going to do next is we're going to use the lasso tool to very quickly cure this and have a precise selection of the bush itself. So what we're actually going to do in order to isolate the bush from the background is to combine the color range selection tool with the lasso tool. And here's how we can do this. Now I'm going to exit the quick mask mode here and remember that now we've got the bush selected and parts of the background are not selected. And if we use the lasso tool to draw a freehand shape and use the um, intersect selection mode, we can draw a blob around this bush and intersect the selection with the current selection so that in the end only the bush is selected and all the rest is not selected. So let's do this. I'm going to hold down the shift and the alt key to enter the um, intersection mode as we've seen before 
and I'm just going to draw around the bush here with the lasso tool. Now try not to cut off any of the leaves so that everything, every part of the bush is inside this new selection. And just go gently around the bush. Now the bottom part I, we didn't care much um, about right now. Just going to complete the selection now. And it happened very fast, but those two selections were now merged by intersecting them when I let go with the mouse. And when I look at the quick mask mode and zoom out, you can see that only the bush is selected. And that's what we were trying to achieve. Now let me go out of quick mask mode, create a new group and turn that selection into a mask just to show you what the result looks like. Going to zoom in. And you can see that we have a very accurate, a very precise selection of the bush with all those complex edges and the leaves and the background shining through in the right places. It's actually a perfect selection.